What's up guys, I'm Kyle. Welcome back to another Thenix video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys five exercises that helped me achieve the full planche while watching Chris Harrier. So the first exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be dumbbell straight arm holds slash raises. And the video that I saw this from was from Chris Haria had us full planche step by step. Whenever I first started doing the dumbbell straight arm hold, it was hard at first. As I kept training it, it helped me achieve harder exercises like the planche lean because it helps develop that straight arm strength and it also led me to doing harder exercises. If you guys do not have a pair of dumbbells at home, you can always use some type of books or anything that just weighs a lot. And if you're just starting this exercise, I highly recommend you guys use something around five to 10 pounds. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down, you're gonna have your back, your upper back off the floor, and then you're gonna have your feet at least six inches off the ground. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the dumbbells by your waistline and you're gonna curl your wrists in like this. And make sure to keep your elbows and arms completely locked out. An indication that you're doing this exercise correctly is if you feel all the pressure go to the ditch of your elbow. Now we're gonna do some raises. All right guys, there we have dumbbell straight arm raises slash holds. And before you guys move on to any more weight, make sure you guys are able to hold the exercise for at least 10 to 15 seconds and do at least six reps with the raises. And the next exercise we're gonna move on to is gonna be planche leans. I learned this exact exercise from Chris's video, how to full planche step-by-step, step, 10 steps. Whenever I first started doing the planche leans, it was kind of a struggle at first. I couldn't really lean to where my hands were all the way by my waistline. But as I kept doing this exercise and training the dumbbell straight arm holds and raises, that's whenever it helped me develop that planche lean strength to be able to have my hands by my waistline. Okay guys, so when you're doing this exercise, make sure to keep your arms locked out like I showed y'all in the first exercise, which was the dumbbell straight arm holds and raises. And second thing, make sure to keep your scapulas protracted and also make sure you're pushing from your waistline. If you guys aren't strong enough to lean all the way to where your hands are by your waistline, you can always lean to where you're comfortable, but make sure it is challenging for y'all so you can get your body out of your comfort zone. Also, when you guys are doing this exercise, make sure you do feel it in your interior delt and by the pressure of the ditch of your elbow, which is right here. Also, if you guys are having trouble with these exercises, you can always go back to the previous videos that I mentioned earlier because Chris breaks it down step by step. And the next exercise we're gonna be moving on to is gonna be handstand to full planche negatives. Now, this exercise right here is the one that helped me the most only because when you're starting in a handstand, your body's already completely straight, but once you do that negative, like Chris says, always in his videos, working on the negatives will eventually get you guys to be doing the positive of the exercise. Handstand and full planche negatives were a big struggle for me. Whenever I started from a handstand into a full planche, I would just drop. But as I kept training the negative and going back to previous progressions, finally able to start going down slowly into a planche. Okay, now I'm gonna be showing you guys the exercise. And then after that, I'm gonna break it down. This is one of Chris's favorite exercises, and this is definitely one of my favorite exercises. Okay, so when you guys are doing this exercise, start from a handstand, and basically what you wanna do is you're gonna lower your body while keeping your arms completely straight, just like this, and try to basically lean forward while keeping your arms in one single position. So I can't do it right now because I'm standing, obviously, but if you guys watch me do it again in slow motion, then you can see me lower my body while keeping my arms in the exact same position as I'm trying to lean forward and just hold the full planche. And if you guys really wanna master this exercise, make sure to go back to Chris's video and watch it. And moving on to the fourth exercise, we're gonna be doing assisted full planche holds. So Chris has a bunch of videos where he uses resistance bands for assistance and also for resistance. So go back and watch any of those videos. And if you guys do need a resistance band, you can always go to thenx.com shop and get yourself a resistance band. They have thinner ones, they have medium thick ones, and they have 
super thick ones. So whenever I first started doing the assisted full planche holds with the bands, it made me feel like I was actually doing the exercise. And then as I kept doing this exercise, I started using lighter bands and thinner bands. Eventually I was finally able to do a full planche with no band. So if you guys do not know how to loop this, basically you're gonna throw it over and grab one side, stick it through the other, and then just pull it down. Make sure to use two hands, because if you don't, it's going to snap you in the neck. So you can either put it on your waist or your heels. If you do put it on your waist, it's going to make it a little bit harder because you're relying more on the lower back strength to bring up your legs. But if you do put it on your heels right here, then you're going to be using less lower back strength and it's gonna make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do both. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that, but whenever I was doing it on my waistline, you could see that I was struggling a little bit. And that's because whenever you have it around your waistline, you have to use that lower back strength to keep your legs up so that you can keep your body completely straight. This progression is great for achieving full planche because it gets you used to the movement and you're using less weight. And make sure when you guys are doing planche leans and you put the band around your waist, make sure to keep the same form as if you were doing it with the band around your heels. And moving on to the fifth exercise and my most favorite exercise, we're gonna be doing L-sit to full planche pumps. And Chris does this and he breaks it all down in the video, top five best exercises to master full planche. So the L-sit to full planche pumps were honestly the second hardest exercise for me to learn. Whenever I first started doing this exercise, I would start from the L-sit, go into the full planche, but I could not hold it at all for at least one second. I wouldn't even be able to hold it for a millisecond. But as I kept doing this exercise more and more often, it stopped me from using less and less momentum and rely more on my sternum strength and my planche lean strength. This exercise is definitely one of my favorites and the reason why is because I don't know if you guys noticed but whenever I was doing the L-sit to the full planche pumps I held the full planche for at least one second and you guys really want to do that because it's going to get your body being able to be in that position. The more you do this exercise the stronger your body will get to be able to do the hold. Also when you guys are doing this exercise the biggest indication that you're doing this exercise wrong is when you're doing it you don't want your legs to be open like this okay. so. Jump up on the bar, keep your legs together, go from L-sit, and then hold. Just like that. All right guys, those were my top five favorite exercises that helped me achieve full planche from Chris Harry's YouTube channels. And make sure to check out all the videos on this channel where Chris breaks down every single exercise and any exercise that you can think of. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and also share it with your friends and family. And if you guys do wanna learn more from Chris Harry, you can download the Clinics app and Harry Pro app. It's like having him in your pocket as a personal trainer. I definitely use it all the time and all his workouts and exercises definitely help me get stronger and bigger. So make sure you guys go download it right now. If you guys have not checked out the Harrier shop, go to chrisharrier.com and get yourself some sick clothing. These clothes are definitely worth it because whenever you're training, you feel so light and also they're comfortable whenever you just walk around anywhere. So make sure to go to chrisharrier.com and get yourself some sick clothing, all right? And for more of my content, you can follow me on IG at calisthenics. And remember, we upload every Sunday at 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. Mad love, peace out.